Hi guys, and welcome back to another week of SJU Reads and continuing our reading of the last lecture. In this week's reading, we really get a sense of Randy's perspective on life in general. Despite the reality of the situation, he maintains a positive outlook, and even though life has thrown him quite a few curveballs, he just tries to look at the best of things and do what he can with the situation. So this week we're looking at a lot of, we're looking at your personal outlook on things as well as the importance of self-care when things get a little tough. So I got a chance to sit down with Martha from the campus ministry and hear her opinions on the subject. Hi everybody, I'm here today with Martha Fateau from the campus ministry to talk about this week's section of the last lecture. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> it's great to be with you. Well, thank you. <laughs> you too. All right. So do you want to explain um, to everybody your position here at the university? Yeah, so I'm the director of campus ministry, which really means that I take care of the department of campus ministry. <laughs> and in campus ministry, we're all about um, helping that component of the spiritual piece of everyone's development. So um, we do a, a lot of things, not just for our Catholic students, but also mm -hmm. for any of our students, um, because we believe spirituality is an integral part of who you are so we offer all kinds of things like some really cool theology on tops and mm -hmm. different different programs we have a student team that works for us and they plan different activities and um, we have a lot of fun and <laughs> and we're here to build community and and to support people on their journey yeah okay so for the questions I have for you today um, we looked at uh, in this week's chapters we we're looking at the idea of self-care and um, having a certain outlook um, on your situation. So are you familiar with uh, Randy Pausch's story? Can you yeah, I love his it? story. I've read this book <laughs> several times and um, I, I really um, admire his his approach to life because mm -hmm. he, he's one of these guys, you know, it's not about him, it's about everybody else. So even as he's going through this horrible reality in his life, he's focused on how it's going to affect everybody else. You know, mm -hmm. he's even willing to do like in the chapters for this week, he talks about, there's one where he talked about how he went and did the toughest treatments. Mm -hmm. You know, that a lot of people would say no because there's so many side effects. And mm -hmm. here he is doing it because he's going to try anything possible to have more time with his, his wife and kids. Yeah, yeah it's, really, it's really powerful. I, I, I think he, you know, he's really in touch with the deeper values of life and he's you know he's just got such good self-awareness yeah. you know <laughs> it's true yeah 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 he's it's really cool yeah it's amazing just reading through and yeah how in, insightful he is about absolutely everything right? I never thought about this like this or like this like this yeah just, yeah I'm you know and even the story in there I, and I can't remember if it's in this actual section but it's in the book where he talks about pouring soda on the on yeah. his new car yeah. so that the kids realize this guy it. does not you know like and he's just just a car it's it's mm -hmm. just a car and it's true yeah. but you know so many people that would just freak right out <laughs> yeah that's it it's that terrifying moment oh my god yeah yeah mm. but yeah he has a lot of moments like that where yeah, just, just or like when his wife uh crashes the car as well oh, yeah it's a thing it's just a thing it's just a thing like you're mm -hmm. more important you know and he just he just knows what to put what to put first mm -hmm. in people's lives and that's really cool. Mm -hmm. um, so he, like you talked about, he manages to have a positive outlook throughout his entire journey. Um, so what's your personal outlook looking towards the future and the own, your own journey that you've been on, kind of uh, your main mantra that's kept with you? Yeah, you know, I, I relate to him quite a bit because I had cancer myself, it wasn't terminal cancer, thank goodness. Um, but that has a way of changing your perspective mm -hmm. and you know and it whether it's cancer or whether it's um, a death in your family or whether it's some kind of a struggle it is an opportunity for you to to step back and say so how am I going to approach life and so mm -hmm. I like to think that I'm approaching life from very similar to Randy that I want to be positive I want to I want to have a sense of that I'm about other people, not just about myself, and I'm not here just for me. Mm -hmm. And so that's the approach that I take to life, and, and I, I just really believe that it's, um, it's what we have to do, mm -hmm. you know? And when you're focused on others, when you're focused outside, and you have good self-awareness, you'll get through anything. 
uh, my approach, part of my approach to life is doing my own personal work. Mm -hmm. it's, it's important to know what I'm feeling, how I'm feeling, try to live an integrated life, not just coax through life. And mm -hmm. it's not just about the job, it's about what meaning does that job give to me? What meaning do my friendships give to me? What am I developing here? Am I being true to who I really am? Those are all really important things that I say. That's what I want to live by. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So when confronted with a difficult situation, how do you choose to examine the circumstances? Yeah, first of all, it depends on you know how <laughs> difficult the situation is or how shocking it came. Like if it's, if it's a total surprise, then I think it's, it's normal for all of us to kind of like have that gut reaction, you know, where you're just kind of like, oh my God, why is this happening? This can't be true. I don't want this in my life. And you get, you know, you go through all those anger and, and disappointment and all of that. And I, and I think it's really important to feel those things and, and to own them and to say, you know, I'm not going to pretend that this is easy, you know? And so then once I've kind of done that, then I, I try to step back from it and say, okay, so what's going on for me here? What are my feelings? What do I need? Mm -hmm. um, what what challenges am I being presented? And then I step back a, another step and say, so wh who's going to help me in this? Like, because I I don't believe we're here alone. Mm -hmm. And there, you know, it's whether it's your friends or your family or, you know, um, you know, a professional a counselor. Like sometimes sometimes life's challenges are really tough. That having a counselor can really help you get that objective view on things. Mm -hmm. So it just depends who it is, you know, and I think for me, um, uh, also one of the things um, is that personal time, you know, and, you know, whether that's prayer or whether that's, you know, just being still or whatever it is, whether it's journaling, whatever, mm -hmm. that's how I approach my challenges. and and. But I count on my best friends <laughs> a lot <laughs> to, to be there to support me and to, you know, help me, help me to uh, unfold what's this challenge yeah. about <laughs> in my life, yeah. Okay. So then, do you have any personal strategies for dealing with stress or after having a hard day? Things mm -hmm. that you find you go to? Yeah, you know, well, I, I lived a long time. <laughs> Not really. Um, <laughs> but... For me, um, meditation is is something that's really important in my life. I've mm -hmm. done I've done yoga at times or, or different things like that. Those are real stress busters for me. Mm -hmm. um, watching a really funny movie, like when I was going through my treatments and I had cancer, I watched so many funny movies <laughs> that you know my sister said, "What are you doing?" I said, "Ah, it's the only way to cope. You know, like mm -hmm. I can't do anything else about this, so I'm just gonna laugh <laughs> and hum because I believe humor. Like it, it gets the end of it going and you know you um, so so that's one of the things that I do is you know try to bring humor in um, into the times that I'm stressful but also things like journaling things like um, meditation yoga exercise a nice walk mm -hmm. um, all of those things can can be helpful going to a movie um, you know and the stress is really bad talking to somebody yeah you know, just kind of saying, you know, I'm really, really stressed, you know, and mm -hmm. sometimes I find, sometimes it's good to talk about your stress, and sometimes you just got to do something to get away from it yeah. for a bit. Yeah, you know, just, just escape it for a Escape while. it for a little bit, but I think the really important thing is not just shoving it down, pretending it's not there. Yeah, you still got to confront it. You got to confront it, and you got to find, find your own unique ways, and everybody's different, you know. Um, is um one thing that I just discovered this summer, it's called Zentangle, and you can d Google it, and it's really, it's really, you know, like how lots of us will doodle all the time? Mm -hmm. Well, doodling, they say, is mindless, and Zentangle is mindful. Okay. So, it's, it's a way that you can, you can draw, like, it looks like little doodles and everything, but it helps you to breathe deeper, helps you to relax. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just really cool. So mm -hmm. you might want to Google it and find yeah. out. <laughs> I've, there's, uh, I've heard about uh, you can get adult coloring uh, books. Yes, too. that's the big new thing right now. <laughs> this is very similar to that. Mm -hmm. And I find it's it's just one of those things. It's just like... It's like a quiet moment. It's a quiet it's moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. It's an intentional moment. <laughs> <laughs> Not mindless. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, that's great. Well, thank you so much for... Being with us today. My pleasure, my pleasure. Yeah, yeah. it's always great to. Um, I love these books in the summertime and, and how they 
they help us to kind of get to know each other and get, especially get to know the new students coming in. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys will get a chance to meet Martha when you get here on campus. Yeah, <laughs> looking forward to it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Martha. So unfortunately, the reality is sometimes university can get a bit tough, whether that's trouble with academics or something going on personally. There can be some stressful times, but there are things you can do to help with that, like we talked with Martha. So for instance, it's important to eat properly. It's important to get a lot of sleep. Sometimes you need to just step away for a while, or you need to talk to somebody about it. Just let it off your chest. Don't forget about the support network we talked about in past weeks, especially with the professors. The importance of the people around you. They want to help you. They want to support you. For more different survival tips, you can check out the SJU Facebook page right now. Uh, the link is in the description below, and you can see some survival tips written there by your student leaders. The fact is, everyone is different, and at the end of the day, different strategies work for different people. So what's important is finding what works for you. We've talked about the importance of others, but especially in this case, the people closest to you are going to be there to support you through your rough patches. Coming to university is an opportunity to reach out and make those types of long-lasting connections and those people who are going to stick by you no matter what. You're going to meet a lot of different personalities, but it's important to give everyone a chance. Everyone has so much to offer and their own stories to share with you. More often than not, people you're close to or even people you've just met can surprise you and create meaningful moments that stick with you for the rest of your life. All in all, you have to remember to keep caring for yourself and remembering there are others who care about you too, and you'll get through those tough times and get back to enjoying the better parts of university. Congratulations to this week's prize winner, whose name is announced in the description below. For next week, continue to post on Learn answering this week's question, and we want to ask you guys, do you have any concerns about coming to university? Anything you're worried about? We want to hear what you think so that we can do our best to answer your questions for you. So post to the discussions on Learn and you'll have a chance to win the next prize next week. As for the reading, make sure to read chapters 23 to 27, and I'll see you guys next time.